Howdy, this is Mr. Kozik coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And today I'm bringing you an algebra lesson on graphing linear equations. So get a pencil, a straight edge, and some graph paper and get ready to learn. In this lesson, you will learn how to properly set up your graph, what a linear equation is, and how to graph a linear equation. Now I'm going to assume you know what equations are and how to work with them. If not, this is probably not the video for you, at least not yet. Let's start with what makes a good graph. Every good graph should be done on graph paper. Graph paper will help you to keep things neat and clean. Good graphs have straight lines, so use a ruler or some type of straight edge. Freehand lines just aren't good enough. A properly done graph has the x-axis and the y-axis clearly labeled and a scale that is obvious. Now follow these guidelines to create good graphs. A linear equation is a first degree equation in one or more variables. That is an equation with no power higher than 1. y equals 2 x plus 3, y minus 2 x plus 1 equals 0, and x minus 4 equals negative 2y. Each of these is a linear equation and the graph of each of these is a line. That's why we call them linear equations. Let's graph one. How about y equals 2 x plus 3? That sounds good. First, take a t-table and label it with the independent and dependent variable. If you don't like the t-table method, use whatever method you prefer. But you need to keep things orderly, and I like the t-table. Oh, by the way, the independent is the horizontal axis, and the dependent is always on the vertical axis. You want to start with the independent and choose a number as simple as possible. I'm going to choose 0 and put that number into the equation and solve for y. The answer is 3. Put the 3 with the 0 and do this two more times to get two more points. Plot these three points and draw a line through the points to create the line graph. That's all there is to it. Let's try a practice problem. x minus 4 equals negative 2y. The first thing I would do is put it in a y equals form. So let's divide everything by negative 2 and perform the operations. And we get negative 1 half x plus 2 equals y. Draw your t-table and choose three points. Plot these three points and draw a line through them. Voila! You graph the line for the equation. Before we stop, let's discuss two more things, horizontal and vertical lines. When we write y equals 4, it means y is always 4 and results in a horizontal line. And when we write x equals negative 2, it means that x is always negative 2 and results in a vertical line. Let's review everything you have learned. First, you learned how to make a good graph. And then you learn what a linear equation is and how to graph it. The next thing you need to do is practice, practice, practice. Remember, if you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com.